I actually think that one of the best ways that we can conserve species is by changing the way in which we produce food. Not, not so much, you know, uh, just thinking, oh, we must think about, um, uh, you know, habitat and that sort of stuff. Habitat won't be given the space it needs if we're cons- constantly hemmed in by a requirement to, to produce massive amounts of food in ways that are actually not that technologically advanced anymore. You know, and and also environmentally um, uh, unsustainable. We can't respond to this problem that I, I set up about uh, land and conservation by just saying, right, OK, so what we'll do is with the agricultural land, we'll throw even more fertiliser, even more pesticides, um, we'll plough even deeper um, on that land to get more food out of it, because long term you won't. You will reduce the productivity of that land uh, over time. You'll be forced into a cycle of more and more and more imports, inputs, sorry, all the time, and more imports probably. Um, and you will end up destroying the basis of um, the, f- the food production system. Yeah, you're, de- you're degrading your food producing asset, which is the, the land. Yeah, and once you do that, it's, it, everything else falls apart after that. You know, it's it's like you know, try 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 living for um, uh, a day or two without water. It's mm. it all falls apart really really fast. So, what do we have to do if we actually want to conserve our wild species, which I think is phenomenally important, important to a degree that we don't really fully appreciate. Uh, both because biodiversity gives us a, a, a stock of information and inputs to our well-being, which uh, is is way beyond our, our ability to compute uh, its its value. Um, so we're going to have to do that in a way which provides more land for that diminishing biodiversity, so that it can actually recover again Mm. but not at the cost of reducing food 